15 million rand for a so-called stadium is one thing, but what about the sports ground in Guiani in Limpopo that's never been used? The Greater Guiani Municipality shelled out 6.5 million rand to build the Homu Center about six years ago. All they forgot to do was install the actual grass pitch. Since then, it's been left to wither away. And get this, the municipality now wants to spend millions more to get the Homu sports field up and running again. Council spokesperson Stephen Malfunda tells us they now want to install a grass pitch and a canopy for the grandstand. It's true. Uh, the, the stadium has not, never been used since its construction. Uh, and as we speak now, it, it, it has been uh, vandalized. The, 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 the issue here that we, we, we've had is it concerned the community and the municipality at the time. When the, the stadium was first uh, 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 constructed, we were going to construct it, uh, but then we did not include the, the, grass, the grass pitch. Actually, the, 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 the problem that uh, came up uh, concerned the issue of the community demanding that they don't want the stadium that they are going to play on a hard surface uh, ground. Well, it's the DA's MP, Sali Malatsi, who tipped us off on the story. Let's find out what's been happening since. Uh, Sali, the spokesperson yesterday had difficulty in trying to justify, although he did his best, in how this uh, pitch was built without any grass in the planning. Uh, I mean, he actually admitted that they don't build pitches with grass, which seems a little peculiar. I'm, I'm actually very shocked at, you know, his response to that, because if you walk around the neighborhoods in the area, every soccer field there is a hard surface ground. So for a municipality to invest so much um, in that facility only to leave it with a hard pitch, it's, 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 it doesn't make sense at all because the general approach to the construction of a stadium is that there will be a pitch, there will be poles, um, there will be a grandstand, there will be uh, ablution facilities, there will be you know, other sporting codes that, that are accommodated in there. And I think this is a case of incompetence because we became aware of, you know, the, the, the lack of progress on this facility as early as 2019. And the DA councillor in that municipality, Hassan Shibambu, kept applying pressure on the municipality to find out why is this facility not fully completed because it is incorrect. Um, for the municipality to claim that it was it was it was completed, all that was done is that they built a grandstand which did not have a roof. They had um, a basketball court which you are now displaying there, and court soccer field. They are not even planned, and there's a large track. It's 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 really shocking that the municipality would now say that one. Um, they are going to spend more money on it. Our estimation is that it will cost even more than $5 million because it will take a complete rebuilding of that facility instead of just making the renovations. And secondly, the statements that they have made on other platforms that the community is to blame. Effective contract management means that once a facility has been built, it is built up to completion, it is then handed over to the community, and this was never handed over to the community for use because it was not in a condition to be used. And as a result, it has degenerated into a crawl for livestock in the area. Solly, is anyone, as far as you know, being held accountable for this? Because uh, the spokesperson yesterday just seemed to think that putting, a new, uh, putting grass on an irrigation system was going to be the end of the story. No. Um, to date, there hasn't been any evidence that has been submitted to us showing that action has been taken um, against the officials involved in this. And this is part of the process that we have initiated. So what we have initiated through our colleagues in the Limpopo legislature is to approach the MEC of Sports, um, Arts and Culture in Limpopo, or uh, Tandimuraga, for intervention in there. Um, we've 
also been, you know, contacted by um, the National Department of Sports um, and Recreation because they are also trying to establish uh, where were the fault lines and what they can do from there, um, uh, from the department in terms of action. And you don't break it because there are probably uh, 12 communities around that community, that facility. All of them have a soccer field that is hard ground. You can imagine that when a construction site with a stadium goes up in their community, the level of excitement that you know, um, athletes in the area have towards this facility increases with the hope that they will now be playing in better facilities. Six years later, this facility has not been used because it was never in the condition to be, to be used. And more money is going to be wasted trying to rejuvenate this facility so that it is in a condition to be used. And the reality is, if this facility was not exposed in the media, the municipality would have just continued to fold their hands because nothing has been happening. Um, it was also to our surprise when we went to the facility over um, a week ago that on the day that we arrived at the, at the facility, two security officials were were assigned to that area um, to just look after the facility. And when we interrogated them, they, they confessed they were you know, um, deployed to the facility less than 48 hours after hearing that we would be at that facility in an attempt to showcase that the municipality was doing something to, to, to protect that area.